In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to combine horizontal stretches with man-beating routes to be able to always have an answer for whether the defense is in man coverage or zone coverage or even match coverage. This video, we're gonna be basing this out of the trips tight end formation, but you can actually cross apply this concept to no matter any formation that you are running. If you are taking, looking to take your trips tight end offense to the next level, make sure to join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. I've got an entire trips tight end offensive ebook in there. We actually actually just updated uh, that earlier this week. So if you want to become a better trip side end player, make sure you're in the Patreon. Uh, try to put a ton of different concepts in there that you can use uh, to make yourself a better player. All right, guys, doubles in sale is going to be the kind of play for this. Um, you could do this out of other other plays in trips tight end. I'm in the Patriots playbook. We've got our ebook covers both the Patriots and the Lions. Uh, but basically, uh, all you really need you don't you don't really need any route if you have Hot Route Master. If you don't have Hot Route Master, then go ahead and utilize this play in here. Pat's Y N or Y N in the Raiders playbook. Uh, you can utilize either one of these plays. Uh, to make this concept, but you could also run this out of play action. There's a lot of versatility within this, but really what, why run this concept? Really for two reasons. Number one, I personally like to have quick horizontal concepts that can attack the defense quickly and be able to give me separation against man coverage and zone coverage. Let me show you what I mean. In Madden 21, toward the latter half of the year, we saw kind of a rise in zone coverage, specifically a double Mabel style of coverage where they're going to defend essentially a double Mabel. If, if I could just oversimplify it, we're going to have the deep route defended. We're going to have that corner route defended. And then we're going to have uh, we're going to have the flat route defended here. OK, and then we're going to have our user underneath in the hook curl or maybe our user is going to be responsible for the deep seam area and we'll have a hook curl defender. Right. But we'll have maybe this guy over here to the trip side. So you see how this really limits what you can do uh, to the trip side of the formation. Now, on the back end of this, we would also have this just in case you were trying to attack us deep over here. So if you think if you just look at where my defenders are going to flow out to, then that the natural opening in this defense is everything from the numbers to the numbers, right? If we can attack the defense in between the numbers, we can attack a double Mabel defense relatively well. And so it gave rise to concepts such as this, which was a, a, a very good concept out of trip side in, where you would get some, some variation of this. It, again, it, it kind of varies depending on the player, uh, but basically this idea of just basic, simple uh, hitches, maybe have like a little tight end post, but our flat routes would pull these flats out and then we would just pepper them in the middle of the field with these hitches underneath, as you can see right here, and just take what the defense gives us, right? The problem with that in Madden 23 is this. Um, that concept that I just showed you is very good, especially if you know that they are in zone coverage. The problem in Madden 23 is a lot of people are running man-to-man -man concepts. And so what you're going to see typically is if I run that same basic play, the only route on the field that can beat man consistently is the tight end route. And so they'll just go use the tight end route and you're done. Your, your concept's bagged, especially if they shade underneath, maybe have safeties over the top to be, you know, kind of keep safe. So they can bag this play. Now it's really, really, really good if you know they're in zone. If they're, but what we're getting a lot this year specifically is we're getting a ton of this. Uh, and I'll show you real quickly. So we're getting a ton of this concept, especially if you like trips tied in, you are probably getting some variation of, you know, this, of this basic defense right here. And I'll show you the play art, right? This cross man stuff where they're off coverage, right? Pretty tough to beat. And so the natural flow of the coverage, they're coming underneath on these key routes. So if I try to throw this hitch against man coverage, it's gonna get picked sometimes, right? So this is where this other concept really kind of started to, I think, just kind of have some value. And, and it's actually fairly simple. It's like, how can we attack the same kind of pockets on the field, but give ourselves more options against man coverage? That's basically the idea. How can we attack the same pockets on the field? but give ourselves more opportunity to attack man coverage. And this is where this play came from. So what we're gonna do is we're, it's actually really simple. Uh, we're going to flat the left side or the middle trips receiver. We're gonna slant 
the inside trips receiver, and then you can either put your tight end on one of three routes. You can put him on a smart routed in route, you can put him on a tight end post, or you can put him on a tight end crosser. Any of those routes are going to be effective, and this is going to be good against the blitz. It's going to be good against man zone. doesn't matter. So here's man coverage. Now we have three to four different routes that can get separation against man. The general principle for attacking man coverage is you want to run against man coverage and you want to sit in pockets against zone coverage. In Madden, because you can throw the ball, um, and you can do this in real life as well, but because you have a little bit more control over how you throw, um, you can throw routes open against zone. So as you see there, uh, the tight end apprentice route is working really, really well. Um, this running back quick throw, it's not perfect, uh, as you can see, but you can kind of throw it against man. Let me show you a situation, though, where it's really good against man coverage, and I'll show you uh, how to do it. So basically something like this, right? Let's say that they're let's say that you're they're playing you, right, and they're running this defense, and they're going to be in the middle of the field, and you've got that tight end crosser coming over the middle. So they've got to kind of lurk back to the tight end route or, or whatever. What you have with this right here is you have this ability to throw it quick to the flat, if they're man blitzing you. And that's really the value of that running back route. It provides a quick throw um, against the blitz. Now you might be asking, Cody, how is this against zone? How is this against double Mabel zone, right? Because double Mabel is the popular, uh, the popular zone beating concept or zone concept you're gonna see. And what you'll see is this actually is pretty good against double Mabel zone. You're gonna see here that this running back flat is gonna pull the flat out of course, the three rec would go at the slant. The in route's going to be wide open as well, though, and I'll show that. Um, but really, your in route or your or your other route is going to be there for you. Um, and I'll show. Let me see here. Create that concept. Now, again, this is the user, so the user is going to have to choose who he's going to guard. And um, you know, you can easily, if you run it like this. Another cool thing you can do is you can high ball and cut this off in the middle of zone this year. That's a new thing or a newer thing, but basically just throwing the ball to the tight end before he gets to the flat zones is actually really, really helpful. And again, it's going to kind of depend on how are they, how are they truly setting their defense up uh, to defend this underneath concept because they're either, you're, you're going to have a lot open, but these flat routes really pull those flats out. And then I can throw the ball to my in route over the middle of the field. If they choose to take the slant, if they choose not to take the slant. So let's say more, uh, so a defense that looks like this and they're choosing, uh, to give up the slant route. Then what you can do here is you can throw that slant kind of in that pocket right there before he ever gets to the flat because the running back is naturally pulling the zone out of the way and you have a lot of space on this play. This is also good for basic defense. It doesn't matter if it's cover four, cover three, cover two, you're gonna probably have somebody open uh, against this and you can throw this in these little soft pockets as you can see right there, that hard flat sucks down to the back and I could throw that on the sideline for about a 15, 10 to 15 yard gain. Cover two hard flat, another really, really good coverage. Um, probably one of the better coverages for this specific concept. But what you'll see is because of the way the safeties work in this game, I can throw that with a free form down and outside and be able to attack this. So this is how you can have a horizontal stretch concept still that's very good for attacking zone, but it's also equipped with great man beating routes so that you can really maximize the effectiveness of your offense. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about the trip side in offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks. You can sign up for that at the link in the description below.